Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Remington 700, but that's not the purpose of this video. I wanna focus on the chassis. It's an Ultradyne UD combo. It is super nice. It mates perfectly with the Remington. This is chambered in 308. Even the stock and the grip itself is Ultra 9. Combined, it's an incredible shooter. I've been shooting it already. Love the way it handles. It offers a lot of options. You can see the, the flat base of the, or the bottom of the chassis offers many bipod options. We're going to talk about it along with do some shooting. So let's get after this. All right, let's get a closer look at this. Ultradyne makes some very nice chassis, right around 500 bucks. And if you are in the market and you've been studying this, you'll know that that's not a bad price at all. Only two pounds, a little over two pounds is what it weighs. It is aircraft aluminum with uh, the, the chassis. And we'll take a look at some of the M-Lock slots right there. As well as the stock, I mentioned the stock is Ultradyne, adjustable length of pull, really like that grip as well. That thing is really comfortable when shooting. It's, it's quite noticeable, made by Ultradyne as well. If you already had the AICS mags, you're good to go with this. It, you can see right there, it has an oversized release, mag release lever, adjustable mag spacing, fits most popular bolt systems. As I mentioned, this is a Remington 700, chambered in. 308. Ultradyne makes chassis for, well, the Remington 700, the Savage 110, Ruger American, Hoa, Tika, T3, Voodoo, Aero Precision, CZ 457. They have a, a lot going on there. And at that price, it's I think it's pretty advantageous. There's no doubt about that. And then you can always add on like the stock and the grip. Sure, they have some other things. You have to check out the site. Love, love the way this handled though. Really enjoyed shooting it, and I will tell you that the accuracy for long range is pretty solid. You know, with something like this, you want precision, no doubt about it. I mean, that, that kind of stands obvious, but when you put a chassis on like this and you're, you're getting it, it's really nice, especially for competition. All right, let's spice this video up. I have RMA body armor, heavy duty plates, level four. Let's go ahead and take the Ultradyne UD chassis Remington 700 combo and hit this thing at about 75 yards. See how it holds up. From 75 yards, 308. I, I missed. Did you hit the wood? Did, if it hit the plate, that's the strongest plate ever. Because it didn't even move. Give it a little, a little right, Dan. You're a little bit low in front of it. Okay. Time, but nothing flew. I seen stuff flying off the first couple shots. All right, so this is really interesting. Three shots all hit on the RMA plate. If you look up here to this area you can see there are two shots right on top of each other the good news is that it held it held it, it was able to withstand two shots right on top of each other 308 soft point all right but what happened was it broke the integrity of the plates basically it's heavy duty ceramic totally broke that up and by the third shot, a little more centered, it went all the way through and there is an exit hole right there. So the plate itself stopped two right on top of each other, broke the 
ceramic. And then the third shot went through. All right, all set with some 223, same distance. Gonna hit a more firm part on the plate. I'm pretty sure that hit. Let's sink another one in there. One more for fun. All right, let's take a look. Here we're looking at the one, two, three shots of 308. Then we went to the two, two, three. All three went on top of each other. And we talked about the integrity of the plate breaking up. Well, with all three on top of each other, no exit holes. That big bump there is from the three shots of 223. That's the third shot of the 308. We talked about that making its way through, but it did hold all of the 223. And there's a little look at some of the ceramic, some of the soft covering that surrounds it. Heavy duty plate. Let's hit it with some 9mm. All right, let's finish off this plate with some 9mm. I've got 10 rounds here. Let's see how it goes. Looks like it peppered it pretty well. Let's take a look. After multiple nine millimeter hits, the RMA plate withheld them all. And you could just hear, hear that? It's actually coming out, all that cracked up ceramic and everything. So the only shot that went through was the 308 after the plates were pretty well demolished. Outside of that, nothing went through. And there's the one that did, the 308. But well, that's what it looks like. It took a hammering, but it did okay. Well, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.